going to be talking about which version of uh, OpenSUSE Linux you should be using. Should you use Leap or should you use Tumbleweed? Uh, valid question. What if, uh, what if someone new to Linux, what should they be using? Which one's the easiest one? Well, let's dive in and look. One question I see a lot is I'm new to Linux and I'm not a techie person. Is SUS easy? Yes. Open SUS is easy. What makes it easy? Well, there's lots of factors that uh, make SUS easier than other distros. Um, one good thing is, you know, SUS has been around for, I don't know, 30 years, almost 30 years. Um, it's constantly the top five uh, Linux distributions out there. Well, third time's a charm. Um, while OpenSUSE is not the largest uh, Linux distribution out there, um, it is one of the top five um, out of like 600 uh, distributions out there. Uh, yeah, there is about 600 Linux uh, distributions out there. You just do a Google search, you can find some. OpenSUSE is an open source community driven Linux. Uh, it's a free as an open source project developed and supported by the OpenSUSE community. There are a variety of uh, additions. You have Leap and Tumbleweed from, from SUSE that are um, available. Um, its focus is on reliability. It prioritizes stability and ease of use, making it a good choice for new and experienced Linux users. What sets OpenSUSE apart from the rest is the YAST configuration tool. YAST is yet another systems tool for systems configuration, management, and administration. It is an RPM-based um, package management system. Um, RPM is Red Hat Package Manager. Um, there's extensive software availability. OpenSUSE offers access to a wide range of applications and software through the Open Build Services and its repository. You'll see, you'll see Open Build Services called OBS also. Um, desktop agnostic, which means you can use GNOME, KDE, XFICE, and others. There's plenty of um, desktops environment. You choose what you like. I personally uh, like KDE, and that's the default on OpenSUSE. When you do your install, you just choose what you want. Um, it's a community focus. OpenSUSE benefits from a vibrant activity community. People just contribute to the development. Um, it's industry support. Um, OpenSUSE is a project that is strong support from SUSE, which is the parent company, uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise Services. Um, OpenSUSE stands in relation to other distros. So OpenSUSE is commonly top five or 10 most popular Linux distributions um, in the world. You know, it, it's based on um, uh, SUSE, which is a German company now, um, you'll see uh, SU SUSE go up and down in popularity depending on if a new release comes out and people really like it. Um, I like it. Um, I've been using it since like 97, 98, somewhere in there. I can't remember. That's a long time ago. Um, I, for a few years, went to Ubuntu. Um, don't remember why. Uh, but I've since uh, returned back to SUSE. You know, it, it's Linux. You can go anywhere you want. You try what you like. And, and if you try OpenSUSE, you know, you can do the, uh, the Leap version. And Leap is a long-term or a stable release. Um, Tumbleweed is a rolling release. It's always towards the leading edge. It's not the bleeding edge. Uh, it's at the leading edge of releases. So um, if you have a data cap 
on your internet, I would stay with Leap. Um, it, the packages, the updates tend to be more mature. Um, the updates on Tumbleweed, I've seen people complain that their updates are a gig, a full gig. I'm just like, wow. And, and it's a constant thing on Tumbleweed because they're updating everything to the latest, greatest. So it's, you know, if you update one package, that could be tied into 20 or 30 or 40 packages. Is that good or not? Well, that's up to you if you like to update a lot. I have two Tumbleweed laptops and I have my main desktop that I'm on right now is Leap. Um, my Leap will have updates, you know, every week or two. Um, it seems like my Tumbleweed uh, laptops will get updates constantly. You know, it's constantly updating. I don't have a data cap. Uh, so, which is great for me, you know, I, I don't mind uh, doing the updates. It doesn't hurt me. I just turn it on and let it go, right? Um, I've never had an update kill my system. Um, I think all three of my PCs uh, have NVIDIA. Um, you hear people having problems with their NVIDIA drivers when they do updates. Um, I've never had an issue. On Leap, I noticed that the uh, my NVIDIA cards, uh, the software was updated. Uh, I didn't update them right away. I waited two weeks before I did my NVIDIA cards, and I'm glad I did because there was an issue. Um, you can you have that choice on OpenSUSE. You do not have to do updates. Um, is it going to break anything? No, uh, it's working. Just don't update it. It'll nag you, but and that should, you know, that's that's typical updates. They want you to do the latest, not the latest, greatest, but, you know, what does that um, new version do? You know, does it give you um, more, more functionality? Does it create, uh, fix a bug? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it, it's your choice. You know, this is free software or open source, freeze, freeze and beer. Um, you know, it's, it's nice that... For a new user, non-techie user, you can just do everything via desktop on KDE, you open Yast and um, search for software. Everything is there uh, that includes, that it is included with the di distribution. That means that they have approved it to be added. You can go out there and search for other things to add more of a techie thing and um, Find your software and then install it. It, it. There's no reason that you'll be stopped from installing it. Um, it just has to be capable of being installed on um, OpenSUSE. Um, what else? Uh, this is a great uh, distro to learn on could be a stepping stone for something else or if you just want to go away from windows you know the reason i'm back on SUSE full-time is because my computers i don't think will run windows 11 and i don't really want to run windows 11 i don't like the way they they've done their desktop and forced you to use it um it, it just looks ugly to me i don't want it to look like a mac you know it's it's uh ugh. so that's why i'm off of windows um, they don't want me there, so I obliged and went someplace else. Uh, SUSE is great. It, it's easy to learn. Um, if you can put your uh, load the ISO onto your thumb drive, you can install it. No issues. Um, it's all graphical. Um, you just have to hit, you know, take the, the defaults. Uh, if you're learning, take the defaults. And then when you grow um, and learn more about uh, Linux, then you can, you know, make modifications to your system and change the desktops. You know, no biggie. Yeah, if you have any questions about installing uh, uh, OpenSUSE, go ahead and comment below. This is just a quick video. Um, Yep. Oh, uh, if you have trouble with printers, uh, I have another video you can um, 
go to it and search for uh, uh, fixing your printer issues on uh, OpenSUSE. They they need to set the default um, installation of the firewall to the home network, and that will solve your issues with uh, with printing. Or when you install for the first time, turn your firewall off. You know, if you know your network is safe. Um, you have a router that's protecting you on the internet side. You don't have to have that firewall on to learn. Um, if you have a second PC, old laptop, whatever, yeah, just uh, put OpenSUSE on that and learn. And then once you uh, get more comfortable with Linux, then you can definitely uh, uh, turn, keep the firewall on and learn it. Uh, less issues for when you're... you're you're learning uh, OpenSUSE, but it's a great product, been around for years. OpenSUSE is a great distribution for uh, uh, a non-techie or a person that has never installed Linux before, really simple. I'm gonna do a follow-up video later this week on uh, installing Leap uh, from beginning to end. Uh, just, you know, quick and simple, um, easy to do for everyone. Um, all right, until then, have a good one.